every Christian institution in the West has, to, has emphasized the importance of intrinsic dignity, and that's rooted in the Christian tradition and its account, its theological anthropology. And yet, um, we kind of let that language be mild and sweet and harmless. But intrinsic dignity is, in fact, always a radical call to challenge and revise the status quo whenever the dignity of human beings is infringed. And all human beings are, I mean, it also signals that their dignity far transcends any measure in a hierarchical order. So the idea, I, I feel like it's, you know, this is about putting people in a place so that we can understand them and comprehend them. And, and that also makes me think of the fear around um, trans persons in this country too, that it's not, it's, it's about like that, wait a minute, um, we might have to actually respect people as persons rather than um you know having our the comforts of this nice tidy system where everybody fits in a particular place and it's a really reactionary kind of fear of instability and to me what i think of first is like jesus talking about um you know human beings were not made for the sabbath in other words human beings were not made to serve some order Right. In fact, like he's completely indifferent to the notion of like just of some kind of permanent stability. But but yeah, existentially, that's very like even on an individual level, um, it's scary. And, you know, but the benefit of it, right, is if you go through to the other side, you actually have real relationships of love. That is, you related to people. 